Hi, I'd like to introduce you how the SM3D data management works. The main object is to help the user to import any data to the 3D database. First, on the left side, you have the same structure from the SM3D. The specific filter is the part where you can drag and drop any object from the structure to define what's the type of the object that it wants to search. As mentioned before, you just drag and drop. This also helps you to find the type of the object to use in the SM3D native filters. The hierarchy start is where you place the objects that are going to be the references to search for any objects that are hierarchically located below this reference object. For example, we are going to look for any smart equipment in the M12 Mac equipment folder. The attributes are located underneath each object, so we can drag and drop to add the attributes to the query table. When you click search, the attributes are listed. Now let's just show that the attributes are correctly displayed by using native program interface. The description, the dry and wet weights match with the query view. Just click export and you can create an Excel file with the query data. We made some changes to Excel to import the new information. You can see that some of the weights and descriptions are changed. Click Import, select the Excel file and wait. There is a finished message box informing that the start and the ending time. Click Search again to refresh and see the imported data. Let's check if the action was really successful by visualizing the information with the native interface. The description, the dry and wet weight were updated. The importation log is an express sheet in the same file that was imported. The green means that it was successfully imported. The red cell in the name column means there was a tag that is in the Excel file but not listed in the query view. When there is red in an attribute column means that the value was not imported. What can have many possibilities, like text to a numeric field, or there is no attribute with that name in the object. The purple cell in the name column means that there was a tag in the query view, but not listed in the Excel file. Now, to show the potential of the program, let's update the pipeline and pipe range process data with an Excel file, just to use the pipeline tag. You can delete the old attributes from query view to add new columns. The procedure from now on is most likely the same, so I will fast forward explaining just the differences. It is possible to use a checkbox to select many hierarchy start or specific filters. Checking the attributes from pipeline and pipe branch using the native interfaces. For this example, we're going to import just two pipelines. It is important to check the update children, so the program will update all items that are underneath the pipeline. Let's check if the action was really successful by visualizing the information with the native interface. 